Here are three reasons why I don't recommend using hydroquinone for age spots, acne scars, and even melasma. After 16 years and over 26,000 different treatments in the last 10 years of really focusing on hyperpigmentation, what I have found is hydroquinone is just a knee-jerk short-term response to treating hyperpigmentation. Over time, a lot of times the hyperpigmentation comes back or it becomes treatment resistant hyperpigmentation. So the first reason is I don't use it for acne scars because acne scars are basically superficial. Eventually they are going to fade. Now you want to avoid UV exposure because you don't want it to get darker, but a gentle combination of a exfoliating product and a lightening product together, the right combination for that skin type will suffice. Now darker skin has eumelanin, which is the brownish black pigment. They also produce more melanin when it's stimulated by the UV rays, so it can get darker quicker and it's slower to fade. So with that in the wintertime, yes, I do recommend a more, a deeper exfoliating product along with a lightening product that is more natural. However, in the summertime, it's kind of counterintuitive, but what I do is I actually have them do a combination, a mixture of zinc oxide and a rice powder because it has phytic acid, which is a tyrosinase inhibitor. So zinc oxide is a natural anti-inflammatory. It also completely covers it from the UV rays. So that's one of the things that I do for acne scars instead of using hydroquinone. Second reason is that a lot of times the hydroquinone product is combined with tretinoin and even hydrocortisone. The, it can actually increase the inflammation dryness of the pigmentation. So a lot of times it is common that the pigmentation actually starts to appear darker when you start to use the hydroquinone. So um, especially in the summertime. So I don't recommend using that because again, it's just a short term solution. What happens is you do have to take breaks when using hydroquinone. So the pigmentation can come back or over time what happens is the pigmentation actually becomes more treatment resistant. So that's another reason why I don't recommend it. Okay, so saving the best for last, here is number three. So the main trigger of age spots is not UV rays. If you look at the quiz above here, most people put UV rays was the main trigger of age spots. And if it was, then people of all ages would have age spots, number one. And number two, people in the South Pacific or where they, where they live all year long, where there's a lot of sun, would be covered in age spots and not everybody is. So UV rays does make the age spot more pronounced as far as color and size, but the main trigger is age spots is basically just a physical symptom letting you know that your body has too many toxins. The liver is overtaxed by trying to filter out a lot of the exposures to heavy metals, such as hair color and wearing jewelry, environmental pollutants, as well as your diet. So your diet, if you're eating a lot of highly processed foods, a lot of sugar foods, a lot of deep fried fat foods that um, are made with seed oil, this causes inflammation. And so what happens is basically age spots are fragments of unprocessed lipids and proteins that are oxidized that have entered the cytoplasm. So that's basically what age spots are. So if you think about like heavy metal, the thing, a lot of these products, skincare products that have high percentages of hydroquinone that you can get over the counter, especially in different countries, they have been found to have traces of mercury. Last year, 11 products made the list that had traces of mercury. One of the highest reaching up to 15,900 parts per million. Now, many of these high containing hydroquinone are originated in countries such as Pakistan, China, Taiwan, and Thailand. And the growing concern of this is, is that they're being sold now globally to countries like Africa and India on sites like Amazon, Alibaba, and eBay. Now, if you have used hydroquinone and you found out that the pigmentation 
uh, faded but came back or now you're finding that your pigmentation is actually getting worse and it's becoming treatment resistant and you want to do it now without the use of drugs I'll put a link below for more information on my consultation and for those of you who are dead set on using the hydroquinone I also have a video that you can watch on how to apply the hydroquinone correctly if you also want to see a list of the um, products that have hydroquinone that was not labeled or traces of mercury, that list will also be in the link below. Because remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science. See you in the next video.